starting off CNG break, 15,207. Extended free box break. Again, for the value, in my opinion, of what you get out of it, it's a pretty solid one. We've got a ovation rookie of Ty Delandrea for the Dallas Stars. Besser Retro for Vancouver. Yeah, as I said, for what you get out of it, that's why I think that works perfect in that break. Corner, San Jose Sharks, Young Guns. Holographics of foot. Gold holographics for Tampa. We've got a checklist, Young Guns. So that'll be ran between Florida and LA. Kaliev and Hepo Niemi. Rookie class of Bowers for the Avalanche. What's up, eight or eight feet? How you doing? Rathbone Young Guns for Vancouver. I had to do a double take to make sure. We've got a retro rookie Young Guns. K. Andre Miller for the Rangers. Retro rookie for the Rangers. We've got an ultimate victory of Peyton Krebs for Vegas. We've got a finite of Jones for the Blue Jackets. <laughs> so, Kevin, SBA, my honest guess is probably next year. Like, legitimately, I think it's going to be January or February. Pekka Rene for the Preds Dazzlers. A lot of times, uh, I'm pretty accurate on those things. Number to 500 Reflections. Of Romanov for the Habs. Romanov. Johnson, Young Guns for the Blue Jackets. Kane for the Hawks, Retro. So, my prediction next year. Take it to the bank. Uh, I just think everything's behind right now. They're trying to catch up. The whole entire industry is. French variant young guns of Maltsev for the pre or for the Devils. Looks like I'm in the business. Ultimate victory for the Devils of Ty Smith. You know what the other funny thing is though, Jeff, is the amount of times that people still question me on those kind of things. We've got a UD3 for the Penguins of Crosby. UD3. Sydney Crosby for the Penguins. I can't remember what product it was, they feet. I remember it was like a year or so ago. Ultimate victory of Kopitar for like, like a whole bunch of people like, you're wrong on that. You know, this other site has it for this. And I was like, okay. And of course, I end up being correct on it. Patterson for Vancouver Retro. As of right now, my honest gut tells me, Kaliab Young Guns for the Kings. I, I don't think it's going to happen until January, February. I've been saying that for several months. Holographics of McMichael for the Caps. So. Mackie Young Guns for Calgary. And a rookie class of Calia for LA. Again, there's going to be a lot of changes coming up over the next uh, few months, guys. It's All these companies are trying to catch up. You only have a certain amount of slots that you guys can fit in, or they can fit in for printing. And they all pretty much use the same printer, so... Sadly, some of them have to, you know, push other products back. But SBA will be a monster. And here's my honest opinion. I know it'll be funny opening it up the year after all the rookies, but at the end of the day, I don't think it matters whatsoever when a product really comes out. It will still sell huge. And if anything, it actually might help our rookie uh, crop that year. Rookie class of Caprisa for the Wild. Shesterkin for the Rangers Ovation. 
Suzuki for the Habs Retro. Malt seven Young Guns for the Devils. The reason I say that is you imagine if Lafreniere comes out super hot. Stutzel Holographics for Ottawa. Or Kaprizov or Stutzel. Hepo Niemi Young Guns for Florida. That would not be a bad problem if they have a really good start to the season and then uh, SBA comes out. Future Impact to 1,000 of Ty Delandre. Like right now, Metal Universe is scheduled for the 8th. But again, I am not 100% guaranteeing that's going to happen. It's very possible that it gets delayed even more. Verbeek for the Habs, the Young Guns. Patch ready, Vegas Golden Knights retro. It is what it is. What do we got here? Nothing. Base. Yep. French variant of Petrangelo for Vegas Golden Knights. Ultimate victory for the Maple Leafs of Barabanov. Yeah, and some of them will obviously will do great. Some of them will obviously do bad. Zoob Young Guns for the Sens. But it'll be interesting. We've got a Suitor Tribute Young Guns for the Hawks. Like, you imagine if Lafreniere and Kaprizov come out and absolutely blow the roof off. Ultimate victory of Ty Del Andre. I don't think anyone will care that it comes out in, like, January or February. Glenn, has been great, sir. How are you been? Dallas Stars, finite of Miro Heiskanen. Dazzlers, Anders Lee for the Islanders. That's a cool one. A exclusives retro Suzuki for the Habs. So that is also why we're not doing pre-orders. That's also why I say don't get your hopes up on any product on a release date until it officially comes out. Ultimate victory of Ovechkin for the Caps. Things change all the time. Castle for the Coyotes. Metal Universe is supposed to be on the 25th. Then it got to the 1st. Bunting at Young Guns for the Coyotes. Now it's the 8th. I said I wouldn't be surprised if there's another delay. Holographics of Mitchell for the Hawks. And Golden, 8 Feet and Glenn. Did you guys hear me? Uh, Booth Young Guns for Boston about the news uh, that got released. I, I think it's public. At least I hope it's public. About how long the NFL deal is for uh, Fanatics. And a rookie of Brome. Rookie class for the Red Wings of Brome. I'm pretty sure they announced it. I really do hope so. But did you guys hear about it yet? How long the exclusive is for Fanatics? For at least the NFL? You did not hear. So are you ready for this, Golden? Are you ready? So to give you guys perspective, back in the day, they used to do three-year deals up to five-year deals. And the very occasional seven. The Fanatics NFL deal is for 20 years. We've got an O'Connor Young Guns for the Penguins. So we might as well get used to them. For the Avalanche Tribute Young Guns, Bowen Byram. Tribute Young Guns. But 20 years. <laughs> so we are going to have a very long time with them. Ultimate victory of Bo Horvat for Vancouver. That is crazy. Panarin for the Rangers. Finite. 3,000. Bischoff. Young Guns for Vegas. We've got a clear cut 
of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. In my honest opinion, if they get 20 years for baseball and uh, basketball as well, I just see 100% tops and Penny getting purchased. I don't see any other alternative. Anderson Dazzler's pink for the Leafs. That's the only logical thing I could see happening. Ultimate victory of Lankinen for the Hawks. And if that is the case, that is such a brilliant move by them. Garland for the Coyotes. Uh, tribute. Hillis Young Guns for the Habs. The best thing, Golden, is the summit that I'm going to in about two weeks. Uh, they'll be there, all of them. Hoaglander for Vancouver. Holographic, except for tops. But Panini and Fanatics will be there. Nolan Foot for the Devils, Young Guns. So I will definitely be doing my best to have some meetings and figure out some stuff. Rookie class of Cousins for Buffalo. But I cannot imagine any of those companies are happy. Larkin for the Red Wings. Base. French variant Marner for the Leafs. Ultimate victory of McDavid for the Oilers. Yeah. Fanatics does not make cards. Their first entry will be in uh, 2023. Non licensed MLB. Marner reflections for the Leafs. Again, in my honest opinion, their best move would simply just be buy out the, pro, uh, the companies and continue on normal. Goudreau for Calgary. You get two massive assets. You conquer the entire card world. Things don't seem too changed. Logan Stanley. Young Guns for the Jets. Gold Holographics of Romanov for the Habs. Holtz. Young Guns for L.A. And Drew Doughty, LA King Ovation. And a rookie class of Lafreniere for the Rangers. All right, so give me one second. Let me get the one random left or right organized. Here we go. One, two, three. Their left side, which is Florida, Heponiemi.